shouldn't even be there. <laughs> Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just sitting on the floor in my happy place because I'm trying to do things that make me happy because <sighs> time of the month is kicking my butt today, you guys. And I have been sitting on the sofa wallowing, feeling sorry for myself, blah, 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 blah in pain. And I had a really good chat with my sister-in-law and she was like, girl, get up do something nice for yourself get just do whatever makes you feel happy and actually right now i'm finding this urge to film youtube videos so here we are i'm sitting down i've got a cute top on this top i think it's from oasis i'll link it down below for you guys i'm in loungewear trousers and we're gonna get into a new in video i have been accumulating a lot of stuff of late but quality stuff we'll start with my jewelry piece so so I went to Selfridges a couple of weeks ago. I had a mother-daughter date day with my mum, which we try to do every month. And we had lunch at the Brasier of Light. It was so, so nice, but I had the intention of using my birthday gift uh, card from my friend um, for Selfridges and buying myself something. But I kind of knew I wanted a bracelet, specifically something with pearls. So... I had my eye on a Valentino one, but I actually ended up buying a Fendi one. And guys, don't let the box fool you. I have been wearing it to death. I've already worn it like two, three times in two weeks. I wore it at a wedding. I've been wearing it. I wore it to a lunch meeting yesterday. So I need to calm down, but that's how I am. When I love something, I wear, wear, wear it. It's got pearls on there. It's got some bling, bling, bling. And on the Fendi like logo and it's gold. So it's got a mixture of everything I love. And I'm actually just going to put it on now because... I can't help myself guys I can't help myself so, so I think I spent like 200 and something on it it's about three something I think so yeah so that was pretty decent and I love layering it with my LVJ bracelet that my boyfriend got I just think they work so nicely together the sun doesn't want you guys to see but I love I love I love because I like I like things that not everyone has and since wearing it I have been getting compliments people like oh I've never seen that before and I just don't want like the bracelets and jewelry that everybody has I want to actually go for things that I like not what social media tells me I should like and that is what this is all about so let's move on to oh okay so this was a piece sorry there's piles of boxes and things you guys this is gonna be interesting and my house gonna be a mess there's perfume but we'll get into that soon i want to like mix it all up okay so the next piece is a jacket oh it's a diesel jacket you guys oh my god okay this jacket i have wanted for about a year when i first saw it in the westfield diesel store with my mum one time and it was like 300 pounds roughly or a bit more anyway i went on their website two months ago or a month ago and saw that the jacket was 50 percent off i was like girl you're buying this jacket now like you have no excuse the fit is amazing the coloring the shine i need to style this jacket like perfection i just i sit looking at it we'll do a pair of trainers well they're both trainers these were a gift from my boyfriend actually my first ever pair of air forces okay um I've never wanted Air Forces before. Um, my boyfriend loves Air Forces, but he has like loads of different ones, not just basic white ones, even though he does have those. He has all these cool ones, Valentine's Day ones, this color, like all really neutral, nice colors and vibes. Anyway, he's always looking for trainers for me because he knows that I love trainers, but I never know which ones are gonna suit me. These came, and as soon as these came, he ordered a pair for himself. Anyway, I digress. They are premium Air Forces. They give me like designer trainer vibes. I have not worn them. That's why they are still in the box, you guys. <sighs> okay, you can't really see it, but basically, let me show you up close. Oh my gosh. They are white, cream, and gray. And they have croc detail on them. Oh my days are you seeing this shoe 
are you seeing this art let me pick up the wrong one. Oh, okay so a couple of weeks ago i was invited uh with my friend to a maison francis kirk dijon yeah i said that right i think because i'm looking at another piece from them that i'm going to show you um launch party for a new scent and it is this gorgeous cutie right here it is the 724 and it is very very fresh it's give city vibes so inside there's like an image of like a city skyscraper and on prodding the brand it's actually reminiscent of New York so um Francis Kirk Lejeune himself wanted to create it in like just in awe of New York and it definitely gives that vibe I'm actually going to use it today because I haven't sprayed myself so let's do it and I can describe the scent to you it's very fresh Oh, I really like it even more right now. Oh my gosh. It's mature, but it's fresh. It's like, <laughs> I, I keep saying the word fresh. It's definitely quite springy, but I think it can definitely be um, evening as well, or like a, a, even meeting. It's not too romantic. I would say it's not romantic at all. So it's quite professional. Go have a smell in your local retailer, Selfridges, Harrods, etc. Give it a smell, you will be pleasantly surprised. It's not everyday smell the same, you know? We need to smell different sometimes. Oh, this video is actually gonna be really long because I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. Oh my God, all right, let's go. <laughs> let's go to more clothing, okay. So the next piece is a pair of cool ass jeans. They are from a brand called Alualia, female owned brand, and she is half Nigerian and half Indian I think and she does a lot of sustainable clothing especially a lot of like patchworky denim and they were on sale that's the only reason why I bought them because you guys may know if you follow me on Instagram I love a good jean I love a good patchwork jean but I saw these ones and they were very very much jade like oh my god and I actually saw um Fisayo who owns Kai Collective um months ago maybe earlier this year she bought these jeans i think she bought the men's fit because they fit slightly different um and so i was familiar with them when i saw them and i was like i know they look nice on because i've seen one person wear them before and they were on sale 100 and something like late 100s on them i know that's a lot for me when it comes to denim whereas my boyfriend's like that is normal for men it is not normal for me i'm used to spending like 40 pounds 50 max <laughs> on a pair of denim but then i don't always get the vibe the style the detail that i want so i'm gonna take these on saturday to my dry cleaner who see me all the time i'm gonna get the waist taken in <sighs> like that oh my mom's watching my youtube video while she works Oh, mommy, you're so cute. I love you. <laughs> oh, Richie, you okay, baby? All right, trainers. So I went to Bista Village maybe two months ago. No, was it that long? Wow, time's going so fast when you're having fun, when you're spending money. So I bought some Golden Goose trainers. Trainers I've wanted for a long time for casual, literal casual days but they're still an elevated designer trainer and if you know you know sort of brand and they're still very cool and you can throw them on with a plain outfit and you're gonna look like oh this is a cool person and i never wanted to spend the full price i think they're like 300 and something they're under 400 pounds i believe i spent like about 250 in vista on these but they are again a trainer that i won't get bored of and they are the trainers that look dirty and I love them. And I don't wanna hear, if you don't like them, that's fine, but keep that to yourself. I love them, okay? So obviously I went for a more simple style, if the camera will show you, there you go. So I went for a simple style of white with the silver star and like the gold, golden goose text on the side. And then I've got the green laces that say golden goose. Now all of the women's ones were way too busy like i went in there looked at the women's the guy was like these are the women's ones they just had so much going on they were multicolored. they had all different stitch stars all over there and like just too much going on and i really wanted something that i could literally wear with anything so i was like okay girl you are a size six let's see if they have men's trainers in a size six because men's stuff always seems to be better and these were men's and i got them in a size six 39 and they fit really nice and comfortable um i've got a bit of room so if i wear thick socks 
I still can because I'm going to be wearing these out in the winter, you guys. I'm just letting you know, you're going to see them a lot. Oh, my boyfriend has a pair too and now my mum wants a pair for her birthday. So yeah, we'll see about that. But yes, um, if you do want a pair of these trainers, I suggest if you're in the UK to go and check out the Golden Goose in Vista. Why can't I fit this in? <laughs> oh my God, this living room is a mess. Okay. Let's move on to another perfume. Um, I'm a friend of the brand Floris and I have shared some of their pieces for a few years now, maybe one, two years, since they first ever invited me to an event. And they're so lovely. They've gifted me some scents in the past. They've invited me to different events. And they recently invited me to another event that I did vlog. Don't know if it's going up before this video or not. But I did vlog it and um, it was so lovely. It was in a dream like wedding location. Oh my God, in Windsor. Um, and they kindly gave me and my mom in our gift uh, bags, the Honey Oud. Now, I only have one other Oud perfume, which is a uh, sugar Oud that my boyfriend got me from Dubai. And it is literally, I, I believe, my favorite scent ever, but it's finishing. So when I saw this, it's like, they know that I like Oud. Spray, it comes across very strong in Oud, very strong. And at first I was like, oh, this is really strong. It's nice, isn't it? Richie just woke up and smelled it. Oh, it's so good. It's so nice. Like the, the honey and the oud end up mixing into my skin. It smells, all scents smell different on different people. So this is how it smells on me. It smells very strong in oud, but then after a while the honey starts to come through. But it's not a sickly honey. It's like a deep, warm honey. And when you smell it, it's like, Um, so that is the new scent and this was gifted and I love it. I love it. My boyfriend's mom and he was like, oh, and I was like, no, but I did actually buy him a scent which should be arriving today from Celine. I'm going to take this out of the packaging now because now I've shown you guys I can actually put it out on my perfume table, although it's getting very clogged and I think I'm going to need to get a bigger space because my addiction to perfume is really real now. Okay, so next clothing piece is a jumper from Isabel Moran, and I love it. I love it. I saw it, it's casual in Vista. I spent about 100 and, it was on here, has it gone? Why does everyone like taking the prices off? It's very annoying. I don't have any like jumpers, casual pieces like this that I bought to dress up. So I didn't buy this with the idea of just being super casual. I'm thinking leather, black leather pants and heels or with like a cap or a pleated skirt or a leather skirt with knee high boots. Do you guys see the vision here? It's a jumper, but it's a piece that I'm gonna wear and wear and wear and wear and wear and wear. So my Teresa, I got some tights. I got some uh, Marine Saray tights. They went down to like 90 pounds. I know for tights, some people might not agree, but for me, I've always wanted a statement pair of tights because I don't wear tights often. So I didn't want to get to something normal. Um, and actually a lot of tights that I have bought in the past, they always rip. But these Marine Saray tights, when I tried these on, they were giving premium. This is the, like the top of it, which is really cute. They are thick and like durable, you guys. So they have the signature like moon. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. The signature moon print on them, they're black. And when you put them on, like, they literally they feel like so strong like they're not going to just rip so they're an investment piece again but i thought this would be nice with the skirts and boots during the winter time sorry the light is actually really annoying i'm gonna just close the curtain be right back yeah okay that's so much better so yeah so i got these as an investment piece if you think about like um the amount of wear i will get from these year in year out you know because it's a signature print it's not like a trend print oh i want to get some black leather shorts because a nice white t-shirt black leather shorts and these and like trainers or something would be really cool too so the next piece is a scented candle by maison francis Cartesian. so i had a lunch meeting yesterday with an amazing pr and um She's absolutely lovely. She had these goodie bags for us. 
let alone buying us the most amazing pasta lunch she also had these decked out goodie bags for us which i'm gonna get into for you right now and inside was this scented candle and i was like girl you know i mean she obviously knows what i do and what i love and so i was like so grateful like this is a candle I have wanted. It's been on my wish list for like ages and I've wanted it for like my new home. Hence why I haven't bought it now. Cause I'm like, there's just certain things I'm going to buy for that home that I don't want to buy now. Guys, this candle was in there. And let me tell you, this scent has been on my wish list for a long, long time up until I got the Floris Honey Oud because they're quite similar. This is sweeter, but they're still similar and I just don't want to get too many similar things. So now I'm switching up what is on my wish list from this brand because I do want another scent from this brand because I just love their, their perfumes. But the candle, honey, now, hear me out. Oh my God, this candle. So I did actually burn it because I did a reel yesterday. So I burned it for like two minutes to film that and then I was like right put it back back in the packaging <laughs> I'm not wasting this candle but it smells so rich like rich opulent welcome to my home I have a lot of money I'm wealthy I love candles that's why I have my own candle range which is coming back very soon you guys along with the cushions as well and everything so stunning and it's literally the exact same scent as the perfume and i've always loved the idea of somebody being able to walk into my home and be like wow your house smells amazing just like when they hug me and they're like wow you smell amazing it's a huge compliment for my home to smell amazing too i love this candle like with a passion so actually i'm taking it out of the box now and i'm putting it up there because that's where it belongs so let's do it and please excuse my lounge wear trousers okay and lastly oh actually no there's a top here from Ganny that I got from my Teresa as well. Why? What is going on? So it's like a shirt. It's also part of the um, responsible Ganny range, which it says here, which I just realized. But for some reason, the label is like coming off on the side. So I'm going to sew that back on. But anyway, it's a shirt with like a really huge lapel. It's like a light, light, light pink and black. I love it. I saw it and I was like, this is really cool. This is a statement piece. Again, something that I will keep forever. Um, but it's a little bit big. It's a little bit big. So you guys know I have a sewing machine. You know that I sew cushions. So my intention here is to take the sides in myself. Like, both sides. And this was like £110, I think, as well. Who's at my door? Just got an Amazon package. Can you see? It clips onto the top of your phone. Okay, anyway, lastly, I'm just gonna go through this bag um, of goodies. Actually, separately, I got this productivity planner from um, Grace Beverly. I have not opened it yet. Don't know what to tell you guys, but it looks amazing. And it came, like you can choose different designs, prints and colors. And I just went for a neutral one, just so that it, I just wanted a neutral one. And yeah, so I'm gonna try that out. Because it's getting to that time, you guys, where the planners and the journals and all of that are at the top of my forefront in preparation for the new year. Right, so this goodie bag is filled with things from my meeting yesterday with the PR company that gave me that amazing candle. They also do a lot of booty, as you can see. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly because I know this video is gonna be super long so I got shampoo and conditioner by a brand called Fakai which I always 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 hear about they're clean vegan sustainable moisturizing and high shine so I am gonna be using this on my natural hair and I'll give it a go and let you guys know what I think because you guys know I have my natural hair out for leave outs all the time or I have a ponytail or I do some kind of braid. But I've got this cleansing mask, is it a cleansing cream, sorry, from Eve Long. My mom loves this brand. She goes on about it and I've never used anything from them. So I'm excited to try this cleanser. It's Charlotte Mensa, London Accra. So I believe it's a Ghanaian lady who owns it and it's Manchetti Oil Finishing Mist. So I've heard a lot of things about this brand. So Alpha golden haze face oil what gently apply three to four drops evenly over your face neck and decolletage apply after serums and before or after moisturizing this is gonna give me a glow honey 
I need this. This is what the packaging looks like. Alpha. You guys, wow. Alpha H. Alpha H. Alpha H, sorry. <laughs> then I've got a nice Revive mask. This is a brand, I believe it's owned by Harrods, I think, or Revive Revive. And I've tried something else from them and I loved it. So I'm going to use this eye mask. Stuff from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Blush palette. Oh my god. Those are me. Like I literally use these colours. Oranges, pinks, deep purples. They look so good on dark skin, you know. So good. And I, I cannot do my makeup and not have blush on. Um, they've also given me the dip um brow pomade i used to buy this all the time so for the days that i want like a really strong eyebrow look i'm gonna use this thank you so much and then they also gave me a skinny brow pencil i used to love their brow pencil i love it i currently use the refi brow pencil and i'm loving it and lip liner love it and then lastly this is the last thing i think this charlotte mensa brush which is the same um Ghanaian brand I believe she's Ghanaian anyway, because her name is Mensa and it says Acra on it. This paddle brush looks really good. Let's use it. Let's use it now and see what it does to my hair. I didn't really do my hair that much today. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. I love that look where your weight, your hair all waves together. Like I love that. Oh, oh yes. This brush is really good, you guys. Look at the bounce, like it doesn't, it's not too harsh where it brushes your whole curl out, it just neatens it and gives you a sleep. Sorry, why didn't I use this at the start of this video? Oh my God, this my hair looks so good, so good. Richie's over here behind me. You okay, baby? So yeah, okay, that's it guys, that is it, that is everything. This video is gonna be like half an hour long. I don't know if you guys are gonna watch it all, but I'm just gonna post it anyway. Also thought this would be a good idea for gifts, so that's why I wanted to share it. It's not about boasting, it's just me sharing it to give you guys ideas as well. There is one thing on my list that I think I'm just going to go and order. It is the Tom Ford um, body oil, um, and it just I've wanted it for so long and I've just not bought it. So I think I'm going to treat myself today because my stomach hurts. Hi baby. Hello, you want to say hello? You want to say hello too, yeah. So yeah, because my stomach just aches today. I'm just trying to do things that make me happy. Right, Richie? You want me today? You all right? Are you okay? Yeah, we're both feeling a bit sorry for ourselves today. He's not, he's not in the best mood. Although, look at his tail, guys. I'm gonna go, because look at him, look at him. He wants to play. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye. Thank you.